हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल मैनी ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी नो अबाउट मी फॉर दोज हु डोंट नो अबाउट मी माई नेम इज़ प्रणव पंथ आई एम वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट एजुकेटर्स फॉर एम बी ए टेस्ट प्रेप आई कैन ईट हंड्रेड्स ऑफ डी आई एल आर एजुकेटर्स इन ब्रेकफस्ट आई हैव स्कोर्ड हंड्रेड परसेंट आई लॉन डी एल आर ऑन थ्री ओकेजन एंड नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन प्लस ऑन सेवरल ओकेजन नाउ डी आई एल आर इज कंसिडर्ड एज द मोस्ट अनप्रेडिटेबल सेक्शन because in quant at least you know that these are the kind of questions you have seen them in the past but when you appear for the dilr section you see that every year the sets are of new kind so how to develop that skill so that you can ace the dilr section in this video i am going to guide you about that so i am like this turkish shooter who can any day go to any examination and crack it with ease i have cracked hundreds of aptitude examinations including cat on uh, 10 occasions with 99.x uh, percentile 99.9 plus on several occasions including 100 in dilr on multiple occasions 99.9 plus in quant 98 plus in verbal and not only cat i have cracked all other mba entrance examinations with very high score and it is not that i prepare for all these examinations yes i teach now but it is not the case always when i was an aspirant also i had a very high score in cat now how to develop this skill to crack any examination and especially the dilr part which is the most feared part by the students because it is highly unpredictable in order to understand that please watch this video and follow the steps that i tell you so first of all if you are new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us follow our community on social media platforms now these are my score cards on the occasions where i scored a perfect 100 score this was cat 2016 back then it used to be a 100 100 100 it was used to be a 3 hour paper so dilr used to be a 96 marks uh, it used to be of 96 marks so there used to be seven sets uh, eight sets of four questions each i got seven out of eight sets and scored a perfect 100 percentile this was in 2021 very nice scored 60 on 60 and scaled score was this is the scaled score since the uh, other slot turned out to be a bit difficult so i got 55 as the final score this was the latest attempt in cat 2023 i solved all four sets and did two silly mistakes i got a 53 and 60 18 correct and two incorrect one was theta and those were quite silly mistakes which i'll realize later on okay so uh, you can see that this is the consistency and on several other occasions i have scored a 99.95 99.99 etc so how to get this level of precision that every time you appear on the examination you are going to bang on this section and not only that because it is unpredictable in quant you can say that okay every time you know that these are similar kind of questions so how to ace this section with such precision i am going to tell you in this video so first of all you have to admit that there are some skills that are innate in some people so i have a very good logical thinking ability so i had the raw, raw potential in me okay so i uh, used to crack examinations previously also i had cracked ntse i appeared on cds and several other examinations and cracked them so i had this raw, raw potential but at the same time i worked very hard on it okay so it is not that just a talent but also hard work with super seeds talent now uh, this was the first time when i appeared on cat when i was an aspirant like you back in 2013 okay i appeared on the cat and in the very first attempt i scored a 99.93 overall with a 99.97 in qa and di so back then qa and di were separate section and va and S lr were together so i scored heavily on this first attempt itself so uh, it is that i have been scoring high since the first attempt itself it's not that i became an educator and i started scoring high not the case i was already good at it now how did i become so good at it and what are the things that one must do to enhance their performance in this section so what is dilr section it tests your ability to think instantly right so as i said that if you talk about other sections uh, especially quant you have an idea okay this is a topic i know you can get questions from this topic you will get questions on geometry algebra in arithmetic so and so topics are present if you have covered all those things thoroughly you will be able to attempt some of the questions 
but in dilr people might go blank because the kind of sets they present every year is something which is unseen right for the past few years if you see the trend the sets have been unseen in the past and it is your ability to think instantly and crack those sets it is the most challenging section of cat uh, if you are already good at it you may not agree but yes if uh, most of the people agree that it is the most challenging section very tough to crack there is no defined syllabus okay although there are some topics from which you generally get questions but there is no defined syllabus you can have a puzzle which is cannot be classified as a di or a pure lr it is a mix of things so the kind of puzzles that you get are quite unique and it is full of surprise elements sometimes you might end up getting a question on games and tournaments sometimes it could be venn diagram for two years you see venn diagram is being asked third year it disappears the kind of sets every year keep changing okay so it is full of surprises and it is only in that phase in those 40 minutes you have to crack the examination now if you look at the score and versus percentile this will give you some good understanding of it so if you look at the uh, these years 2020 and 2019 2020 uh, if you talk about 2021 there was one di included as a result you see the scores are bit higher okay so 24.5 out of 60 for 95 percentile and 36 for 99.5 so scores are a bit higher 2022 uh, 2019 was also on a moderate uh, side so there was a di which made things easy 2019 was slightly moderate and all these years it has been a difficult game to crack okay very difficult to crack because if you see even if you get half of the score like if you take the halves of these 30 30 30 you are above 99 percentile so if you score half 50 percent agar aap le aoge so you are definitely 99 plus in case the paper is difficult and in case you get uh, let us say one third if you see one third 19 19 this was one third is 24 so 25 okay one third 32 so if you score one third you are approximately 95 plus percentile okay 95 percentile plus so you do not have to attempt the entire set to become a hero right although there are some people like me who would attempt all the sections all the sets and score a 100 percentile so there is a huge difference between 100 percentile and 99 percentile like as i said that i had a 100 percentile at a score of 30, 53 so even if you had half of it you would get 99 percentile so only 1% in that second half of the scoring range similarly i had 55 here so if you had 34 you would have got 99 percentile so there is a huge difference between 99 percentile and a 100 percentile and as you uh, solve like let's say three sets if you have solved you would definitely go 99.9 plus if you solve two sets probably you are around 99 percentile and even if you solve one set let us say aapne just ek set solve kiya with full accuracy aapne 15 marks ka ek set hota 15 marks ka if you got 15 marks you would have got around 90 percentile okay so it is that difficult that only 10% of the people are able to solve one set completely now what is the reason behind it is first of all preparation uh, level okay uh, of course potential is uh, a big factor because people are uh, a lot of people may not be that smart at solving problems Uh, one is put, uh, preparation thing they do not prepare accordingly they have not covered all the topics so one mistake is in preparation you do not cover all the topics right people ignore some topics some people focus on only certain topics as i told that the topics are quite random so one is you need to prepare all the topics do not focus on only on certain topics then second thing is reading speed right? not many people will talk about this but if you see the cat dilr they are quite lengthy in terms of text so if your reading speed is good it will help you in dilr also okay that is one thing that is lacking in people and thirdly is like uh, one is uh, set picking skills so i will talk about this that how to pick the right set to start with and the fourth thing is of course uh, there is one big thing which you need to take rid of that is ego right there are a lot of people who are egoistic while attending the uh, question they do not leave it they think that ab start kiya to karke hi rahenge okay so that is a big red flag and the next thing is panic during the test so if you need to you need to work on all these five things 
टू एज द सेट ठीक है अब क्या है कि ये दो चीजें तो आप प्रिपरेशन पार्ट में कर लेते हो दीज आर वाइल यू अटेम्प द टेस्ट सो दिस यू कैन इम्प्रूव वाइल टेकिंग मॉक टेस्ट एंड ऑन द डे ऑफ द एग्जामिनेशन बट दीज थिंग्स कैन बी वर्क अपॉन प्रीवियसली ओके सो दीज आर द फाइव फैक्टर्स विच आई बिलीव प्रिवेंट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम स्कोरिंग हाई इन द सेक्शन नाउ वट आर द डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ऑफ प्रिपरेशन इफ यू टॉक अबाउट बुक्स बुक्स आर देयर फॉर कैट फॉर ऑल सेक्शंस फॉर डी आई एल आर ऑल्सो यू हैव बुक्स बट आई बिलीव दैट दे आर यूजली ऑब्सोलीट ओके द काइंड ऑफ सेट्स दे हैव मे नॉट मैच द काइंड दैट यू गेट दीज डेज देर आर पास्ट ईयर पेपर्स विच इज़ अ वेरी गुड सोर्स सो यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री यू विल गेट ऑल दीज गुड सेट्स टू प्रैक्टिस सम अराउंड हंड्रेड ऑर्ड सेट्स ओके एंड लेट नाइन्टीज टिल टू थाउजेंड एट यू हैव द सेट्स इन दैट केस आई वुड से दैट सॉल्व द एल आर सेट्स नॉट द डी आई सेट्स बिकॉज डी आई यूज टू बी वेरी बिग सिंस द पेपर यूज टू बी ऑफ लाइन दे यूज टू हैव वेरी बिग सेट्स वेर एन यू हैव डेटा इंटेंसिव सेट्स दे वर नॉट लॉजिक इंटेंसिव बट द एल आर सेट्स वर गुड इन सम केसेस मॉक टेस्ट बाई वेरियस इंस्टीट्यूट दिस इज अ गुड थिंग टू प्रैक्टिस फ्रॉम बिकॉज वॉट हैपन्स इज इन एवरी इंस्टीट्यूट देर आर वेरी स्मार्ट पीपल हु क्रिएट स्मार्ट वेराइटी ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन टेक मॉक टेस्ट फॉर डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूट एंड प्रैक्टिस थ्रू दैम एंड देन यू हैव सोशल मीडिया विच इज बेसिकली यू विल फाइंड सम सेट्स बींग शेयर ऑन टेलीग्राम ग्रुप्स राइट यू विल फाइंड व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप्स एटसेट्रा पीपल डू शेयर सम सेट्स एंड आई ऑल्सो हैव अ यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ माई ओन विच इज द बिगेस्ट फ्री रिसोर्स फॉर डी आई आर प्रिपरेशन सो माई चैनल्स नेम इज एप्टीट्यूड जैब विच हैज फोर हंड्रेड प्लस फ्री सेट्स फॉर डी आई आर माई टारगेट इज फाइव हंड्रेड बाई कैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर लेट मी हेल्प दिस अचीव दिस टारगेट ओके सो दैट पीपल बेनिफिट अ लॉट थ्रू माई कॉन्टेंट ऑन यूट्यूब ओके देन वन थिंग विच पीपल डू नॉट वर्क अपॉन इज सी पीपल गो फॉर द कन्वेंशनल वे ओके सो एज एन एस्पिरेंट यू शुड prepare in the unconventional way that is the big differentiator now those people who work in unconventional way are going to succeed in this section so if you look at the sports person right he is neeraj chopla right he is a javelin thrower now you are seeing that he is standing on a ball so this is called swiss ball exercise why is he doing this he is doing it to improve his balance in order to improve his posture etc okay similarly he is glen phillips a cricketer so why is he pulling this thing because he he wants to improve his strength to play cricketing shots similarly cristiano ronaldo right he is building his leg muscles so he can run fast right he has good stamina during the field now it is very important that you build your muscles now of course these are sportsmen so they will build their physical muscles so you have to build your mental muscles so only solving sets will not help i told you that it is important to solve sets to get a gist of a variety of questions through different sources but building mental muscles is more important because you develop a muscle memory sometimes you solve certain things which you can relate uh, at a different place so let's see how can you develop mental muscles now this is what is needed to prepare oneself for the unknown first is puzzles books so i will recommend some puzzle books which you can solve on your spare time so that you develop the thinking ability then you can search for interview puzzles there are quite interesting interview puzzles on the internet that will sharpen your logical thinking ability then there are some number puzzles like sudoku kakuro etc these build your abilities like sudoku builds your elimination ability kakuro builds your addition ability of small numbers addition of distinct numbers so lot of a times you see question sets wherein you have to add distinct numbers so this solving this puzzle will help you think through it like if i ask you that if you have to make a sum of 11 through 4 different integers so you will instantly come up with the idea that 2 1 2 3 5 5 if you have to make 28 from three numbers right the numbers should not be more than 10 so you will say 10 10 9 i mean in this case it's a repeat but at these things these puzzles will help you to add the numbers fast so whenever you see the data present over there you are able to think fast through them and process them data analysis from your own hobbies so if you wish to good uh, become good at data interpretation you need to 
learn to read different kind of graphs be it in some newspapers magazines or sports site let us say you watch cricket you go to cricket info you will see lot of graphs over there so try playing with them and the most important thing is if you do this then you reach my level create your own problems okay. how to create your own problems very simple example let us say you have uh, you are going to the vegetable seller you have 100 rupee note with you you have 200 rupee note with you you have 500 rupee note with you okay you have 10 rupees and 20 rupees so let us say 10 rupees two notes now if you have to pay uh, 150 rupees to the seller okay so how can you pay 150 now if you do not have a change in how many ways can the seller give you the change think through it right let us say uh, the the item is of 80 rupees right so and you have let us say 50 rupee notes also so you can pay by 10 20 50 okay you do not want to pay the uh, you want a change back so you can pay him 100 rupees he will return 20 rupees suppose the person says that i do not have uh, change of 20 rupees so you will say that okay you have 50 rupees i will give you 10 20 100 and return 50 okay similarly you, if you want change of 500 you might give him 500 rupees he will give you 200 200 and 20 or he can give you 200 100 and 20 so there are different possible scenarios in which you can get the change right these things if you start thinking every time let us say this was one example another example is let us say there is a cricket match going on there are four balls you need 14 runs okay now uh, let's say some big hitter is playing okay uh, let's say uh, player like andre russell is on the crease okay and uh, you know that he is going to hit fours or sixes so uh, how how can he hit in four balls so let's say one ball left okay he can hit uh, zero four four and six right maybe there is a wide ball there is a no ball which comes with a free hit okay so all these possible scenarios if you start thinking whenever you do any activity and right, these are some just some examples there could be many more examples like this so whenever you have you are doing any activity okay uh, so let us say you are uh, preparing food okay so you need to uh, think that in what order can i do these activities so that time is minimized so optimization based things so in any activity you do you start thinking logically and mathematically you will develop that thinking ability because every time whenever you are doing anything you are creating a problem and thinking of its logical solution including new number based solution so if you develop this thing believe me that you will become quite good at solving problems similarly another example could be atm so when i appeared in 2018 i got a question on atm and that i used to think previously like if i go to the atm i have to withdraw 1000 rupee notes 1000 rupees so i can get 500 plus 200 plus 200 plus 100 okay i could also get 500 plus 500 i could also get 500 plus 5 times of 100 i could also get 100 no, rupee notes 10 times so in all these activities if you start thinking ki kitne tarike se aa sakta hai so you develop that logical thinking so whenever you get a question like that some somewhat similar story line okay you start thinking that okay this is how we can get the total so there was a certain cat which said that you have to give rating to this uh, delivery guy you have to get a bonus he gets a bonus of 10 30 50 okay so in how many different ways can you get a different amount of bonus so all these little things if you work upon and in any activity you do you think through these problems that is definitely going to benefit you now here are some puzzle books which i would recommend you you can uh, take these like great book of puzzles and teasers that's a very good book by george summers then there are books by shakuntala devi okay uh, this is moderate level this is slightly on the difficult side then there is algorithmic puzzles that uh, talks about different computer algorithm that is also a good puzzle book to read and there are some sites also wherein you can practice these puzzles so there is a site puzzle mix uh, it has a very good collection of number puzzles i told you those kakuro hitori sudoku and all those so you will get number puzzles every day you can start with easy ones then go on to moderate and then difficult levels so there are puzzles across different levels every day they come up with new puzzles so solve these puzzles occasionally 
to build your thinking ability to build your ability to deal with numbers to manipulate numbers how to add numbers how to multiply numbers etc so these will sharpen your brain in terms of logical ability so apart from just solving the sets do these activities that will definitely help you in your preparation so that was the preparation part now it is how to tackle it during the examination as i said that there are a lot of people who prepare well but they panic during the exam so first and the foremost thing is know your strength to identify which set to attempt for example i am very good at numbers right if you ask me any uh, question based related to numbers that how to add such numbers how to multiply such numbers i can do it very quickly my calculation speed is super fast so i will go with a set that has numbers involved in it rather than just a simple arrangement so if there is a number puzzle versus an arrangement based puzzle i will pick the number based puzzle then navigate through all the sets it is quite important to navigate because what happens is the first set you might see might be the most disastrous set of the paper so just navigate through the sets take 2 3 minutes to just skim through it and understand what needs to be done so if it's a number based puzzle you know that okay something needs to be done here it's a venn diagram you know that okay three set venn diagram or four set venn diagram you'll have to draw a venn diagram it's a games and tournament you have to make the structure or scoring of the tournament so navigate through it and then based on your strength pick the first set shuffle between the sets it is very important now this is what most people do not do they try to attempt one set completely then move on to the another set now what i do is i look see the set let's say 2 3 minutes i have skimmed right i know that okay this is the set that i'm going to attempt i attempt it for 5 minutes okay 5 to 7 minutes attempt karo then look at the questions okay 5 to 7 minute mein ek thoda idea aa jayega ki whether it is doable doable in the sense ki time mein ho payega ya lengthy or it's a trap trap means you are completely lost in that set okay so 5 to 7 minutes mein dekh lo fir uske baad ek do question dekh lo probably you can answer some of the questions then switch to set 2 okay then again 5 to 7 minutes you give then move to set 3 you okay, can give some time do the same things and then finally when you have seen all the four sets see the biggest problem is people are unable to see all the four sets most of the aspirants get trapped in one set itself some aspirants who are smart are able to do two sets one set they were able to do another they attempt more some students might go on to three sets there are rarely few students who attempt all four sets or at least see all four sets wo dekhte hi nahi hai unhe samajh mein nahi aata so if you do this strategy probably in 20 25 minutes you must have seen all the sets okay all sets you are aware of you know into the depth also which set can be attempted agar maan lo apne 20 25 minutes mein you attempted four five questions also theek hai aapne just char panch question bhi kar liye one one from each of the sets kyunki kuch information to partial pad ke aa jati hai right now you have around 15 to 20 minutes there will definitely be a doable set तो यहां से आपने एक डूएबल पिक कर लिया प्लस फाइव क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव डन ऑलमोस्ट नाइन टेन क्वेश्चन विच विड अप्रोक्सीमेटली गिव यू नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट आई सो दिस शफलिंग बिटवीन द सेट्स इज अ की स्किल विच वेरी फ्यू पीपल यूज एंड इफ यू यूज इट आई कैन गारंटी यू दैट इफ योर प्रिपरेशन इज गुड ऑफकोर्स योर प्रिपरेशन शुड बी गुड योर एप्टीट्यूड लेवल शुड बी गुड इफ यू अप्लाई दिस शफलिंग बिटवीन द सेट्स आई कैन गारंटी यू दैट यू विल स्टार्ट स्कोरिंग वेल इन योर मॉक्स एज वेल एज इन द एग्जामिनेशन ओके now the next key is uh, the <coughs> like looking at the questions okay so before leaving a set right please ensure that you look at the questions that which questions can be done so probably you did 5 to 7 minutes and you can attempt one or two questions so do not leave a set simply and the art of letting go sometimes the set can be a trap or maybe your brain is not clicking at that moment it is perfectly fine just let it go okay uh, yes there has been some damage in the paper look at the one or two questions if doable fine if not go to another set do not stick to one set for a very long duration it is the examination you just have 40 minutes if it were like uh, practice time then i would say take hours and hours to attempt one particular set but if in the examination just skip and move on and maximize questions and not sets I told you that do not target ki one set karke aane hai do set karke aane hai 
try to attempt maximum questions so if you see all sets probably you can do many more questions than you actually would be doing if you are <coughs> doing set wise so these are some techniques that one needs to apply so try applying these techniques in the mock test that you are taking and this will help you benefit your scores if you want to get mentored for cat and zat so we are going to launch a crash course in september so we will announce it on our youtube channel on our instagram page and on our telegram group also please do subscribe to the all so that you are aware that when that co course is announced so uh, we already have a cat batch running but uh, some students say that we want to enroll in a fresh batch and especially the ones who have already uh, cleared the basics want to improve and boost their scores so it is a batch meant for them and in case you are preparing for cat and other mba entrance examinations we provide mock tests for all exams so cat mocks as well as omet mocks so we have a package for it so in this package you will get mocks for nmat snap zat cmat mhct cvt mycat xgmt srcc gpo which you do not get uh, at one place at other platforms so you can check out the links given in the description of this video to enroll in them and in case you are preparing for cat and have done well in the past so uh, you can avail heavy discount on a current batch which is ongoing batch and would be uh, done by the next month so it is already ongoing uh, the classes which have already happened you have access to their recordings and for the upcoming classes you can attend them live so <clears throat> it includes live classes practice sheets access to the mock test etc so if you have scored very well on uh, cat or other mb entrance examinations you can share your score cards with us on support at the rate mbacaro.in to avail the discount on a current cat batch so this is uh, these are some guidelines how to crack the dilr section as i said that uh, it is not an easy task because hardly uh, you will hardly find people acing it again and again so it's a skill that needs to be built right of course uh, it takes years to build such skills but if you uh, in the short duration in the next 3 4 months you you want to become up to the 99 percentile it is quite possible for a 100 percentile you should have that uh, inborn ability plus a lot of efforts which some of you already must have put throughout this preparation journey but if you want to target 99 plus and a decent score 99 plus i said that is at around half the score which is possible if you apply the techniques which i discussed in this video so if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends